Thrive Landing Pages and Thrive Leads are now compatible with GoToWebinar and since recently also with Webinar Jam. And because of that and because of the emphasis on webinar platforms, we wanted to introduce another set of landing pages specifically made to help you get more attendees for your next webinar. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and we've got a new landing page set available right now in Thrive Landing Pages, which is all about webinar registrations. We call this landing page set Confluence and in this video we'll have a look at the pages, look at how they're composed, why they're composed that way and how you can use them for your next event. The first page we're looking at is simply called the Confluence Webinar Registration page and this is what it looks like. At the top you can add your own logo for a bit of branding and then we have this blue background section with a pre-heading line and a large headline. And we really went for a very visually striking effect here. This, this blue section at the top is very attention grabbing and really makes your headline stand out. And so here's where you kind of advertise the main benefit, right? Here's where you have a juicy headline that makes people want to learn more. And then below that, we have the first button to register. So this is a two-step button. You click on it, it opens a light box where you can actually register for the webinar. And this is very simply right for people who read your headline and know right away this is an event I want to join, they can opt in right here. After that we have this main content box and here in a very compact way we provide all of the information needed for this webinar. So we start over here with the author or the, the webinar host information rather and we simply have two images and the names for these hosts. This is great if you have you know, a recognizable authority on. And by the way, we've also made this so that it's very easy. It's basically modular, right? If you have two hosts, you can use the page template as it is here. If you have more than two hosts, you can just clone one of these um, author images and, and create a third one. And if you have just one host, you just delete one of them. So it's really easy to make this page the same page work with some minor modifications no matter how many or how few hosts you have on the webinar. In the middle of the page we simply have a list with some short points about what will be covered on the webinar. So we want to keep this really short, uh, we want to keep it really simple, we want to give people a very compact view of why they should sign up and here you just want to present maybe a list of three to five juicy details, interesting things that will be talked about on the webinar. Give people some short, compact, but strong reasons to join. And that's what this list is for. And then finally on the right side, we just have the logistical information, so to speak. You know, when does this take place? What time zone is it in? And a countdown to also make this easier to see when exactly this happens. This is one of the issues with uh, webinars is that you often have an international audience and so you display the time and date but depending on where your visitors are coming from they have to figure out what's that exactly in my time zone and the countdown really helps for that because it's much easier to say oh okay this is in two days and four hours that makes more sense intuitively than trying to calculate what something is in your time zone. So here we give the visitor all the information and then at the bottom there's just a second button so the people who want to know a bit more about the webinar before registering that's their second invitation to get on board. Now this next page is the double whammy style webinar registration page in the Confluence set and we've had one of these before so the strategy is the same here. So webinars themselves, the webinar event itself Webinars are very powerful conversion tools and they can also be very powerful teaching tools. So having a live audience there, this live event, you can get amazing conversion rates off of a webinar. But on the webinar registration page, you've got a problem, which is that there's no instant gratification, right? You're asking someone to sign up for something that might happen a week from now or something like that. And from various tests, we know that a really powerful driver of conversions is if there's an element of instant gratification. So with the double whammy page we basically make two offers on the same page and we say instead of only registering for a webinar you actually get something right away as well. So we look at the page we have the same basic setup as before but below the heading we have a, a section that very clearly communicates 
the two things on offer here. On the one hand, you're going to be registered for this live training webinar. And on the other hand, we have a cover graphic and a title for, in this case, it would be a free report. And this can be whatever it is, right? It can be a free report, a white paper, a cheat sheet, a resource list, whatever you want to give away. But it's something that's instantly downloadable and provides this instant gratification factor. Okay, and so you visually and with text communicate, here are the two things you get by signing up right now. Below this, we have a subheading and a paragraph that gives you an opportunity to explain this in a bit more detail. So with just a few sentences, you can explain, you know, you'll be registered to this webinar where you'll discover such and such, and you get this free report instantly where you'll discover this and that. Keep this short, but this just gives you an opportunity to really explain what's going on here. And then we have the two-step opt-in button. So you click on that, it opens a light box and that's where people will register. Below that again, we have a list of points and here, same idea as in the page before, just one of the points can be, oh, by the way, you also get this report. So you can use, I would mainly use these points to advertise what's gonna happen on the webinar and just use one point to reiterate. Also, you get this instant download right now. And then below that, we have the logistical information. We have the host information and the date and then the final registration button. So this page is a great page to use, again, because it gives people a reason to sign up right now, even if they're not that sure about the webinar. And it also gives you a, another chance to make a good impression on people and follow up with them, even if they miss the webinar, right? Because if you just have a webinar and someone misses the webinar, they don't really have an interaction with you yet and it's more difficult to build that relationship. Whereas in this case, they get something for free. If you give away a free product and the product is good, that's a great way to start that relationship, even if they can't make it to the live event. In the Confluence set, you will find two versions of a thank you page that you can show after someone's registered. And the first one is simply a page with information that you know confirms you've been registered and reiterates what's gonna happen. So we have a note here that says, add this to your calendar, add a reminder. We have another reminder of when exactly this is going to be. And we also have information that says, you know, we'll send you an update, we'll send you a reminder of this webinar one day before or whenever your reminders are set. And so we just wanna very clearly in inform the new registrant about what's going to happen next. And then there's also a version of this thank you page which contains a download link as well. So here again, we, we still wanna have all this information. We wanna make sure that people get this information and it's clear what's gonna happen next. And then there's also a large download button where they can get the double whammy offer that if you use this double whammy strategy. Here's where they can download their PDF or whatever your bonus offer is. Finally, we've got the webinar ended template. And this is a template for a specific use, which is especially important if you do webinars that are really one-time events and there are no repetitions or there are no replays available, then you've got the problem that, you know, once the webinar is over, people will go to this landing page and you have to tell them, well, I'm sorry, you missed this webinar. And, and on the one hand, you could just have a page that says, sorry, you're too late. But on the other hand, you can also try and you know, salvage that traffic and try and offer something there. And that's what this page is for. So here we have a message that says, sorry, you've missed this event, the deadline is over. But then we also have an alternative offer. And this is set up where you could either advertise the next webinar. So you could say, well, you've missed this event, but here's the next one and you can register for that. Or where you can offer you know, a webinar replay of a different event or, um, or even just a different free offer. But the idea is that you just say, well, okay, you missed this thing, but here's something else that's interesting and maybe you wanna register for this. And the page is set up you know, as a similar page as the ones we've looked at before. We have the same kind of elements. We have a headline, we have a button at the top and bottom. We have a few points to advertise this. So in terms of you know, the conversion elements on the page is basically the same, but what we're doing here is we are simply, yeah, we, we're kind of redirecting someone's attention, someone's interest. They wanted to register for a thing that doesn't exist anymore. And you try and get them to register for your next event or for a previous replay. So that's a look at the Confluence webinar pages set. Let us know what you think below by leaving a comment. You can leave one 
right here and there's also some further information about all this below the video. We hope you enjoy these new templates and I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts.